Hello, I'm Dwayne Weshi. Ask the pharmacist for BJCHealth.org, and I'm a staff pharmacist at Missouri Baptist Medical Center. The next question is, I'm 22 weeks pregnant, and I have a head cold, sinus cold. What can I take for that? If you are pregnant, and this goes for any condition at all, before you take any kind of medication, whether it be over-the-counter or prescription drugs that you had been prescribed before you were pregnant, please, 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 please speak with your OBGYN or the physician health care provider who is treating you or taking care of your pregnancy. Every health care practitioner has their own uh, list or group of medications that they will at times allow their uh, pregnant patients to uh, take. Please talk to your physician first. If you are having a lot of serious issues with congestion, there is two things that I can recommend that you can do that uh, do not involve medication. The first one is if it's just congestion, the best way to relieve the congestion, which is normally caused by the swelling and dryness in the in the nasal passages is to stand in a nice warm shower and let the, uh, the, the mist or the moisture uh, breathe into your sinuses and that helps open things up. The next thing that you could do is use uh, a product called saline nasal sprays known as brands Ocean or Air and those can be purchased without a prescription and all that is is normal saline uh, in a nose spray and that also moisturizes the nasal passages and allows for easier access to the air moving freely through your sinuses. The next question comes from our Facebook site. How do I dispose of medications after they are expired or are no longer being taken? What I recommend for all my patients who ask how do I dispose of medications is number one, you can go to the F FDA website or the DEA websites uh, and both of those will give you a detailed list of ways that are approved by the government to dispose of medications. In most common terms and realistically, the easiest way to do this is to either mix your medications with used coffee grounds or kitty litter and uh, wrap them in a paper bag and dispose of them in your regular trash. Never, never, never flush medications down the toilet. Another way that is actually safer and more efficient, uh, at least for those of us who live in St. Louis County and St. Louis City, is a couple times a year, there are these uh, hazardous waste disposals that the government operates. And I always tell people, you know, everybody has a paint can laying around that they aren't going to use anymore. Put your medication in that paint can, seal it tight, and take it to the uh, government hazardous waste disposal.